Wood Services to share a delicious mouth-watering story with you. The story is all about a tortoise. Now you might think, what's so delicious about that? But wait and listen. It's about one night when tortoise was fast asleep inside a shell and a dream bubble came out. And you know what he was dreaming about? He was dreaming about a fantastic tree. You know, it gets really hot in the jungle, doesn't it? And soon there was not going to be any fruit or anything for them to eat. But Tortoise dreamt of his delicious tree with lots and lots of fruits on it. Maybe bananas, apples, pears. Hey, you can think of some stories about fruits, can't you? And remember, these fruits are on this magic tree. But where is this tree? Well, the next day, Tortoise went and told all the jungle animals. He asked the king to have a meeting and Simba did have a meeting. And Tortoise told them about the dream and the tree. Well, said Simba the king, I am the king and I will go and find the tree. Hmm, but we need to ask somebody where the tree is. Oh, just then they thought, <gasps> the wise grandmother, Grandmother Coco knows everything. So of course the lion went and the lion went to Grandmother Coco's house and he said, Grandmother Coco, come out where you are and tell me the name of the tree. Well, is that how you would ask? Of course not. Grandmother Coco, however, came out. I need to know the name of the tree. I need to find it for all the animals in the jungle. Well, there is ways of asking politely, but I'm in a hurry. So Grandmother Coco said, OK, I will tell you the name of the tree. The name of the tree is a Mumbarumbungo tree. And you must say the name three times once you find the tree. But, however, on your way to find the tree, you must not turn around. Because if you do, you will forget the name of the tree. Of course, you think I am the king and I forget? Never. So the lion went off, as proud as a lion does. And of course, he started walking. What he didn't notice was in the middle of the path, there was an anthill. And he didn't notice it because he was too busy walking with his nose in the air. And of course, boom! Straight. Aye! bumped his head because he fell and uh, first thing he did was shook his head and and uh oh a manga bongo onga bongo runga bongo oh drat i can't even tell them that i forgot the name of the tree mm, i'll have to think of a plan so off he went back to the jungle and and all the animals asked did you find the tree well i am the king should i be going to go and look for the tree of course not i should be sitting waiting for one of you to go and find the tree now let's see so the elephant said how about me your majesty sins i am the animal with the biggest brain in this jungle Yes, yes, you go, elephant. Of course. So the elephant went to Grandmother Coco and he asked politely. Grandmother Coco climbed onto the elephant's trunk and whispered it. A mumbo rumbongo tree. But remember, elephant, when you say it, you say it three times. But on your way to find the tree, don't turn around. Of course I won't. And of course I have the great power of my memory. I will find the tree. Off he went. Well, 
He went past the anthill, but you know what? He was not looking where he was going. And he did see the thorn that was sticking out in the ground. And his foot fell on it and... turned his head. Donga bonga rongo, honga bonga dingo, ayo. I forgot. So the elephant went back and he said to the king, uh, it's too much for me, it's too hot, you need to ask somebody who is fast, who likes to run. Well, there amongst the animals, there was one, <laughs> I am so fast, I am so good, I can do it. <laughs> do you know who it was, don't you? It was the hyena, you're right. So, of course, Grandmother Coco told him the same thing. Well, hyena went past the anchor, past the thorn, but he came to a little river and he had to cross the river. Hyenas don't like water, and he thought, what next? But he had to do it as soon as he splashed in. Uh-oh, and he came out the other end. <laughs> he had to shake the water off. And while he was shaking the water off like this, <laughs> uh-oh, he turned around, and he forgot the name of the tree. Now what? <sighs> so he went back. Who can they ask? So they asked Twiga. Twiga is a tall, 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 tall animal with a long, long, long neck. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I think I should be able to find it since I have a very tall neck and I can see far beyond. Yes, it was the giraffe. Grandmother Coco told the giraffe the name. The giraffe went. The giraffe went past the anthill. Of course, past the thorn. And it was easy for giraffe to walk through the river because it was so shallow. Could still see. And was walking around with his nose in the air. Mm -mm. Guess what? The giraffe did not see the muddy puddle by the river. Walking with it. Oh, nearly there, nearly there. And boom. Went giraffe flat, he did the splits. <laughs> oh my goodness me. And of course, trying to get up with his skinny legs. It was hard, it's hard, but oh! Uh oh! Now what? Nobody was left. But the tortoise said, Please, Your Majesty, let me try. Please, please, please. You're too slow, you're too slow. Oh, please. Okay, so they agreed. The tortoise went. So Grandmother Coco told the tortoise the name of the tree. And the tortoise walked around the anthill, past the thorn, past the waters, because he likes swimming in there, past the mud. And of course, he was faced with a <laughs> ah, scorpion. So he hid himself in his shell. <gasps> and the scorpion couldn't do anything. Suddenly, it was time the tortoise gave a notice. The tree. Now, are you ready to say the name of the tree three times? A mumbo rumbongo tree! A mumbo rumbongo tree! A mumbo rumbongo tree! No sooner had the tortoise said it, the fruits came down! And of course, the tortoise decided he was going to share it with all his friends. But when the tree was empty, then what? Well, said Tortoise, how about if we choose our favourite fruit and take the seeds and choose our favourite land and let's go and plant these seeds? And you never know. And did you know, since that time, we got different fruits from different parts of this earth. So we might get satsumas and oranges from Spain. We might get coconuts from India, bananas from... I don't know, maybe you can find out. And maybe you can decide which one's your favourite. 
And since that day, that's what's happened. Hope you enjoyed that story. And you know what? It's time for me to have my favourite fruit. So till next time, don't forget to share your story, eh?